Alex, you know that's my movie, but I like the old one. That's my bad idea, he was. You didn't like a Sophie Tom Clopet, man. You lost. You know, it's it to be here. You're Clopet, man, as well. What is it? Uh, what's our story? What you're hiding underneath all that sauce and stuff you threw there? No, basically I, I like sauces. I like a lot of sauces and stuff. So yeah. I really drenched it with a lot, a lot of uh, cherry and uh, murin and soy ginger sauce. Did you read this? Did you read the piece that I sent you about judging food? Right? Yes, yes, in proportion. But I tell you, that sauce is so good. <laughs> That I had to overdo it because if I drizzle it like those mingy little uh, French type of cooking, you know, we live in South Africa, we want lots of stuff. That's it, right there, lots of stuff. Any last question or anything that you want to say? Who's the chick behind you? Was she there the whole time? She looks a bit dumb. Fire? Scary. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Now I get to a besonders a gaat hier bij mij. Andrea and Lexis. Uh, Lexis, what is your papa's name? Thijs. In zijn van Thijs? Mila. Can papa niet kom bij zwaar? Yeah, I think. Now, help you protect you for Papa and come by. Yeah, I think. Hey. <laughs> Makis. <laughs> now, where's your Papa now? <laughs> now, yeah. We sit in action here, so the master chef is here with us after us. Say, be careful, my. Where are we going today? And what is so special on today? Weet jy wat die dag gaan oor enige siepie kinders toe ons uitgevind het van Lexie, het ons geen emotional support of financiële support gehad nie. So um, die groe ding was maar om geldkies in te sommel vir kinderkies of mense, wat het nie kan bekostig nie, want het is een baie baie dier story. En dan het so moendlik hulle, hulle leven kan verander. Jy het rolstoelkies koop, my wie hulle help om na een dokter toe te gaan soos die nie spot gieter, wat Lexie'se leven heel te mal van. Daar het ek nie Lexie kon nie loop, sy het eerst begin loop toe sy vier en hal was. Sy het op haar knieges geloop, so Denise het, ja, en toe op jou toene, en en Denise het al al leven verander, en dit het absoluut gegaan oor die fondse wat ons kon gekry het, en support, en ons is maar hier om ander mense support te gee, vir dit is die belangrikste. Nou, dit is, dit is my fantastisch dat Thijs en jylle allemaal betrokken is by so'n dag. Ek dink dit kan meer gebeur dat mense moet concentreer op sikke projekte en my sien dit baie min. Um, wat dink jy is die omvang van dit in die omgeving vir ander kinders ook wat, uh, wat, wat ook behoeftig is aan sikke fonds en samelinge? vir ander mense wat dit ook wil doen. Weet jy wat? Um, ek denk dit absoluut. Ons het dit binnen een maand en een half gereel. En dit is so makkelijk as jy die support het daarvan. Maar rechtig, dit kan een groot story raak. Maar ek sê kou vir dit, jy kan dit doen. Dit is mense in rest, maar dit is amazing. Hulle het so by ons gestaan. Jy kan dit nie glo nie. Jy kan nie glo nie. Ek sê elke dag vir jyre, dankie. Ek het dagelijks al bel mense my wat rolstoele skenk, dan sê die oma sy rolstoel op. Mense, weet jy wat, ons het nie gedink ons gaan so, so, come back of so, so, terug vir hun kraai nie. En dit was het my ma. So, ek sal sê, jy weet wat, daar, daar is een groot mens in die rest, en my gee baie om, en kan het doet. O, jy sê, like. My, moet thuis ondervinding met die masterchef competitie en alles, hoe het jy dit ervaar? Niemand weet wat er erg achter die skerms gebeur nie. Jy was by die huis, so waar? Vertel ons bykie meer. Dit was, dit was lang gewees. Ek sê jy, ons is een maand en een half weg van mekaar af. En in een week mag ons vijf minuten met mekaar gepraat het. En in al die vijf minuten, dan moet ons sy maan sy pa ook bel. So ek het twee minuten ontreden met hom gekry. En dan toe nog een bodyguard langs hom gestaan, wat hou elke woord kyk wat hulle sê. En hulle mag keywords gesê het, mag hulle nou, jy weet, sekere woorde mag hulle sê aan hulle nie. En toe hy, hy voorbeeld oor sê was, ek het geweet hy vlieg, maar ek het nie idee gehad. Want ek vlieg hy wat gebeur nie. En dit was er. 
gelukkig geweest. Het was baie erg. Ek en Thijs is baie kluis. Ons is beste maaikie. So, dit was die langste wat ons nog van mekaar weg was. So ja, dit was maar erg. Ons het baie geheil. Sê vir my, toe Thijs nou aan die andere kant was, en jy het nie geweet waar hy is, nie wie die koekwerk in die huis gedoen? Ek, ek, nee, definitief ek. Sal ons die rolle kan ruil hier nog van die tijd? Ek kook eindelijk baie lekker. Ek wil ek bak eindelijk baie lekker. Ek kook lekker, maar hy is baie slor. So, ek, ek kook nie die week en dan, na een week ek en hy maar veil maak, en sê ek is raak. Wie maak die lekkerste posies, mama of papa? Mama! Thijs moet het nie hoor nie. taking part in this entire day as well and it's just making it so much more special and absolutely yeah Tess and I are gonna have fun with fine maybe I'll get him I'll give him a chance to get even with me after Zanzibar I owe him that but I, I see our third contestant is it's not Saurabh but someone else I think this other team is very serious about winning so I, I think I need to shift up a gear now and I've got to watch Tess and I got to watch each other's back gonna get into a slipstream almost yeah I don't know Sorry about the, uh, the choice, make a choice here. What, I don't make a pudding. What do we make? Curry? I don't Mystery know. Box. Mystery box. Yeah. If there's chocolate in, oh, Dina is going to kick your butt. I think going to make this fondant. I've got some food for training from Zara. Okay, enjoy it guys, let's go. We will, thank you, I'll see you all. Jy was ook een maatje chef gewees, groot experience vir jou gewees? Dit was een ongelooflike ervaring en ek sal enig iemand wat graag wil inskryf in die competitie aanbeveel om met alles wat hulle het vir dit te gaan. Wat sy effect het dit op jou leven soos wat jy vandag het met wat jy nou doen, het dit verander of is dit nog precies die selle? Ehm... Kort nadat ek uit die reeks had, is het ek een restaurant oopgemaak en die blootstelling wat ek gekryd had, Masterchef had, het definitief baie gehaald om meer voete dier my dier te kry. So dit het vir my baie beteken. Is die restaurant nou by Pretoria, nee? Dit is in Rivera in Pretoria, is in een ouwer deel geleer, die naam is Bella Sophia Culinary Cafe en het het een ouwe wereldse gevoel. Ek gaan definitief daar so draai kom. look on your face though. You know, I must say, uh, you've been taking care of the sound today and you've done a sterling job and uh, your attempt at a dish today is most probably inspired by what you saw on the stage. So I'm glad in the sense that you are being inspired. 
Uh, you have actually taken the first steps towards cooking. Uh, but, you know, cooking is a long journey and, uh, and I emphasize that you've taken your first steps in cooking. <laughs> Uh, so, what's your message on this plate? I don't know. Maybe you 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 see something that I don't. I don't know. I don't think this is making the grade, eh? Yeah. You know, there was a comment made on uh, one of the TV series. Uh, this uh, looks like it's been plated by a three-year-old, and I think it actually tastes like it's made by a two-year-old. In fact. So, but w what's your intention here? I mean, I'm sure there's a story that you have on, on this plate. You're trying to. I wouldn't even want to try uh, eating any of the stuff except for the strawberry, I, I must say. This was a bold uh, move for you to do. But uh, what's your message on this plate? Well, firstly, um, hygiene was, uh, was the first um, thing that I looked at. In fact, hygiene is definitely a very obvious thing if you don't have cooked food. Cooked food that hasn't been cooked uh, has uh, no hygiene issues around it. So there's no hygiene risk. Yeah, okay. I see you've taken care of that aspect hygiene-wise here. Yeah? And secondly, I want it to look nice. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know about you, but this looks more like abstract art. You know, yeah, I think we'll have to give you a chop on this one, but you know, I admire your first steps, as I said, but in cooking, I hope I don't disappoint you and you know, don't discourage you from cooking. Uh, but so you've got a long way to go. Also his last steps. Those, yeah. I think those first steps right now are your last steps, uh, in a competition rather. And uh, but uh, I think uh, I wouldn't even say you got a long way to go because that's just, that's a, you got an infinite journey ahead of you. Uh, but anyway, I'll give you the mic. I know I can do this. Please, if I can get a second chance, I know I can do it. I feel I'm made for this. Can I? Yeah, yeah, those are famous, this. famous last words. <laughs> Famous last words. I wish I had a dollar for every time I heard that. You know, I know I can do it. I know I can do it. Yeah. But uh, I admire your courage, and maybe you, next year. Go. Off you go. Sorry, sorry, you forgot something. Yeah, yeah, forgot your dish. Thank you very much. The bin is uh, to your left. Yeah. At your exit. Eh? Thank you. The youth of today, you know, yeah. but they're ambitious. Yeah, very. Yeah, we actually seen some very ambitious people. I must say. But uh, that guy takes ambition to an entirely new level altogether. This one actually did better. Oh yeah, the, the, the dummy at the back. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Thank you guys. <laughs>